Hey guys, uh, Kyle LaVorne Modder here. This is episode two of From the Toolbox. Um, we are currently printing the updated upper AB motors. They have been modified a little bit. Um, let's take a little closer dive into this and I'll show you uh, exactly what we're dealing with here. Okay, so as you can see here, we reallocated and repositioned the PG7 connector just to make it part of the design of the uh, upper part there. And the back side that you can't see because the tool head's in the way, use by shift, you will see a pattern there. So one of the issues I have with this design is when your um, end stop back here is on there, the other side doesn't have that bulge coming out on this side, which makes things a little problematic when you're trying to ensure that your gantry isn't crooked or what they call racked, like you need to de-rack it, whatever. So what I did was I made the I made a pair that matches. So when the gantry goes all the way back, it's actually um, pretty much square and even. So we'll just have to make sure that the uh, end stop switch that I'm putting in there is actually um, flush with everything. And we're going to be using this guy right here. It's a Omron, actual Omron brand switch. And um, we just want to make sure it's flush when we tighten things down. Same with the JST connectors. So because this guy is going to be up a little bit, I'm not sure. Well, I think the wires that I wired him are going to work great because on this guy that's flush, he doesn't fit quite right. So a little excited about this. Here's a look at other things. The shipment of GT2 gates, legitimate gates belting showed up from West 3D today. Um, I'm very excited about this. I love new belt and I'm excited to stretch the crap out of it. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um, there is some artifacts that happen on these belts. If you look here, you see how it's gray? That's because the aluminum is rubbing off. And so I'm going to be sticking those bearings into a bath of, um, well, it's a two-part process. The machinist told me, stick it, douse it with WD-40 and wipe it off the best you can and then clean it with some brake clean. Well, I don't have brake clean, but the next best thing he said to use was isopropyl alcohol. So they'll get soaked in that and then the actual um, bearings inside there will get greased again. So uh, looking forward to that to see if we can help kind of save the colorization of our belts. Not that it's, you know, necessary, but I just find it to be a little ghetto, you know, like it just doesn't look its best, if you will. So um, moving on, we have the stock Z tensioners that we're going to be installing, um, minus the green, obviously I printed that. It was actually one of my first prints and you can see how terrible the artifact is, the information in it. Um, we might reprint those just because the quality of prints that we're getting right now are just so fantastic that um, it kind of makes sense just to do it and have everything looking nice, new and shiny and pretty so we don't have to do it again. Um, I would probably also reprint these guys as they look like butt as well. But this is another option if we can't get the Ramas to, I don't know, the Z-Belt to move in the right place, we might install these. But I think what's happening is the Z, well, the Y rail is actually um, this way too much. It's in, in the front. And the linear rail has enough flex in the bearing pack that I think what it's doing is when it comes up here, it doesn't really matter. And I never print up here. I, I print maybe a max of here. It never comes up here in anything I do. So I'm a little curious to see if that's really gonna make a difference or not, but it needs to get square. I mean, obviously there's something wrong here. I don't like this. I feel like it's rubbing. It's not good. I'm starting to get a little belt shavings on there. Which, again, it's not in, you know, causing any deformations in the belt itself. However, I do think it's tacky, and I'd like to fix that. So, if that is the route we go, then it will probably uh, put my logo in here, make it a little bit bigger, and just reprint these two parts. It's not going to take long to print them. The only issue is because I don't have a smooth bed anymore, and i got to print on textured that that might cause some issues. However, we could wet sand it and uh, get exactly what we need. So anyway, food for thought on this update. So here we go, 80% um, stuff, I'm very excited. Um, by the way, if I reprint these guys, they will be 80% as well. So food for thought. All right guys, I'm Kyle of Warren Modder and stay tuned for episode three when we dive in a little deeper once these parts are done.